That gives Hollow, follows many of the popular horror movie conventions, the most prominent is found within the narrative, as we chose to base our story around a child. Children are often incorporated in the genre, as they're seen as innocent or weak in other contexts. Yet, for years, horror movies have been distorting the truth and turning them into the demonic characters. So we chose to take this convention and run with that, knowing that it worked in other movies, such as Mama, as it was a huge success to use two young girls. We also suggest the idea of demons or the supernatural within our narrative. Almost every horror nowadays uses this in their storyline. We don't explicitly show demons or mention them in the first two minutes, yet it's clear by the end that something much scarier is going to follow. The sound used in our opening also follows the typical horror conventions, as we use low, menacing piano music. The kind of lullaby tune that we used was similar to that in The Woman in Black. It created a lot of tension as the sound built up to a crescendo towards the end. We also used a lot of silence to build tension throughout. We chose to include moments of silence as we've previously seen, previously seen them in Sinister and also Insidious. Their lack of diegetic sounds puts the viewer on the edge of their seat, a convention which has been used by many horror movie creators for years. The low key lighting is also a horror convention. A dark colour palette adds to the dark mood of the movie. So we chose to film on possibly the coldest day of the year, the February cold, added to the grayscale, uh, which meant that we had a lot of dark shots, um, which we were aiming for. We also altered the saturation of the clips on iMovie to make it even darker. Um, those are all the conventions that we followed. In the next video, I talk about the horror movie conventions which we challenged.